Hey, what's up, Reefers? I'm really loopy right now because I'm still jack lag, but I'm extremely excited because right here we have an unboxing to do. Last month, Walter from Zetlite contacted me saying that, hey, would you be interested in a product review? I was like, Zetlite? I'm not too familiar with the brand, so I looked them up. And it seems that their signature product right now is the UFO light. And sure enough, he was like, our signature product is the UFO light. We, we think that uh, your dimension, 24 by 24 by 18, will be perfect for it. So I'm like, all right, well, let's do it. I'm not married to the Radeon G3. I've been thinking about supplementing it or switching it out. So here it is. We got the set light. I have not opened it yet. So it should be the, it should be the UFO. I, I have to reshoot this whole intro mm -hmm. if it does turn out to be something else. Let's do it. That's a fancy one. Mm. Mm. Why do you have to do that voice? Because I'm jet lagged. Oh. Mm. You're probably sleepy now, right? I'm really sleepy right now. Oh. But I do want to really quickly get this light open. I'm super, I've been waiting for this. I'm, I'm excited to try some different lights Let's on do my it. core. Because, I know if I'm prolonging this, <laughs> one thing I really want to, the reason I really, really want to switch this light is because my orange bubble tip anatomy, right? That's a really colorful one that I won in the auction turns like a dirty red, dirty orange in the 45 gallon tank. And ever since then, I've been trying to like look at different lightings. Yo, what? What, what, what? <laughs> Dude, what the heck? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Walter, what are you doing to me? We got one you Yo. There's two right here. Not even. Look, okay, okay, all right. There's three. All right. So we got one guy right here. Right? Two here. Why do we have two of the same lights? Three here? <gasps> what is this? Is this like... The ZA1201 Wi-Fi. Oh, Interesting. Wi -Fi. I actually don't know much about this light. It looks like a small light. Wi-Fi switch. So I assume Does that these... That? Yeah, I feel like these light are Wi-Fi enabled. But you do need this a hub. Almost like the uh, Reef Link for Ecotag. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to put all these light on. He's happy. <laughs> uh, I kind of lost a word right now. So Aww. UFO light, definitely going to 45 gallon. Mm -hmm. um, I guess. Uh, oh shoot! I wasn't planning on opening it up, but since it's opened, magnetic box, really mm -hmm. nice, really nice. Oh wait, before we even open it, let's see. Is this more cool white? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. So we got a nice, nice spread of the white. Blue and red. These are the these are the main channels that we really look at, and we'll take a look inside. So lots of blues. Oh, All right. Packaging skip. Here wow, we go. Look at that. Upgraded package. You guys are probably thinking like, man, this guy have no idea what the hell he's talking about. I don't really. <laughs> we'll see. As I start using it, I'll tell you how I like it. All right. I can pair it off whatever people tell me, but I prefer to use the product and I'll tell you my actual experience. So here we go. Open it up. So you need a manual as well, right? No, we don't. We don't. We don't need manual. No, no, just no. Maybe no, for no, from no, no, no. <laughs> it's not that heavy. I mean, it's it got a little heft to it, but it's not like super heavy. Here, hold it. What do you think? Oh, it's pretty light. It's kind of. It's a little bit lighter than the Radeon G3 because that's what I have. So I'm using that as a comparison. It's got like that black matted rubber feel, which mm -hmm. I really like. Uh, I do understand that the rim will glow blue. Mm -hmm. Who is that right there? <laughs> she doesn't want to. her. This is the map. Obviously, you can adjust the height, also how far out it extends mm. into the tank, which I think is great. Legit. But uh, what I'm really excited about is the hanging kit. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Zetlite CA1201 Wi-Fi. Honestly, I know nothing about this light. I heard about UFO. I, I know nothing about this light. And I think this may be perfect for your tank, Sally. Well, let's pull it out and see how large this is first. Oh, it looks like this is Wi-Fi wi enabled. The light itself. You may not even need the uh, Wi-Fi hub. We got the mounts right here. So this goes by mounts. Is this transparent one? Yep. So this looks like you can have different, Sleek. different height as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Yep, this wow. is definitely for a small tank. I think Sally, this is for you. He has, he has you in mind. Oh. This is a pretty neat looking light, actually. This is pretty. This is pretty cool Look. light. Can we plug in and see how it works? We can, yeah, actually. Yeah. Now, okay, one thing I don't like is the name right here. What happened? As it they just, gotta promote, right? Yeah, I mean, personally, I would just scrape it off. So, where do you tell Walter? We also have this little box right here. Uh, so this is just a Wi-Fi hub. Let me just really quickly pop it open so we see what it looks like. And then we have a little puck for the Wi-Fi. 
All right, so that is the unboxing. Overall, I really like the quality. I feel like these days, all the more modern LED lights are all strong enough to grow coral. It's just a matter of like, is it the right color spectrum like to really show off the corals? As well as like how easy it is to use. And just from seeing the screenshot and just seeing what I see on screen in terms of the mobile apps that came with the, that come with the light, I feel like it'll be pretty competitive. Stay right there. My friend is coming over to my house soon. We'll have the light set up and then we'll go and do a little power meter testing to see exactly how much power this light can put out. All right, Sally, you're falling asleep behind the camera. Why don't nope. you spin it around? Spin around. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Alright guys, so I went ahead and got the UFO onto the 45 gallon tank. The light fixture is beautiful. Uh, I, of course, I'm not hanging it yet. I want to test it out, make sure this is the light I want to use on this tank before I commit to drilling the ceiling. Uh, but the light fixture is beautiful, it's really slim profile. And again, the touch is just fantastic. The rubber, the black matted rubber. Now the light quality, it is considerably dimmer than the Radeon G3 that I had on previously. Um, I tweaked the light color blending so that it is pleasing to my eyes and it's somewhat similar to what I had before. And in order to do that, I have to really drag down the white. I wish they have more blue LEDs in there so I can keep the brightness up, but unfortunately they don't have a lot of blue LEDs. So that means I have to pull the white down in order to kind of like uh, get that right color mixture. And with that in mind, I think the white is down to 40%. As a result, the whole tank is really dim. Uh, I think the camera may be kind of auto-adjusting, so it's a little, it looks a little bit brighter than in person, but this is considerably dimmer than when I had the Radeon on there. So without even using a power meter, I can tell immediately that the power is, uh, is lower than what I had before. So what I will do is I will actually put on the other UFO fixture as well, so that at least we got two pucks because the um, the Radeon I have is the two puck version. So at least now we're kind of comparing apple to apple, two pucks versus two pucks, where right now it's um, two pucks versus just one. And then we'll go from there and we'll see if, it's, if it looks a little bit brighter. So I will be right back. Hey, what's up reefers? So I have these pretty sweet looking UFO light over my 45 gallon tank for about three weeks now. And I kind of have an early conclusion. So I'll be honest with you guys. Initially, when I first slapped the light onto my 45 gallon tank, I was not a fan. I had just one light in the middle, uh, shining down on the corals, and man, it was dim. After I played the spectrum, I found the color spectrum that I like and turned it to full power. It's dark. It's not comparable to the Radeon, um, the Radeon, the two pucks Radeon that I was using. So the next day, I slap on light number two that Walter sent me. Then we're talking. Then this is the, uh, the brightness that I am used to seeing in my tank. And since then, I've been just kind of taking a look at corals to see how they react. And I've been playing around with the spectrum to tweak, to tweak it to what I like. And I think I'm at a happy, happy medium. So let's talk about light intensity first. I was honestly pretty impressed by the power reading. Um, about two and a half weeks in, I invited my friend Jim over with his power meter to take some readings. And I was, I was pretty blown away by the reading that I was having because I was not expecting this. It was going toe to toe with the Radeon G3 that I had. Uh, right at the frog spawn, we got like 250, which is exactly what I got with the Radeon. And down on the sand bed, we are looking at about 80 to 100, which is again, similar to what I got from, uh, from the Radeon G3. Now, the difference is that the UFO at 100% already, while the Radeon was sitting at about 70%, so the Radeon got a little bit more juice to give. All right, and I think these UFO are actually limited by the power with the blue LED. Because I think the white channel I was only at about 30%, I, I can give so much more. But the blue is already 100%. Meaning that if I pump any more white in, the color is gonna get washed out. So this really limits me on, in terms of like, color spectrum that I can play with. I feel like if I can just convert some of these white LED to blue, then man, this would be perfect. It would be so much better, but I couldn't. So I feel like the, uh, the light intensity is really limited by the number of, number of blue LEDs we got. However, with this mix, the power value is totally respectable. So I, I like it. 
Now let's talk color rendition. Um, if I did not come from a radeon light, then I would think the color is pretty awesome under this UFO. But the fact that I switched from the radeon to the UFO, uh, I noticed a little bit less pop in my coral under the UFO light. Which makes sense because I believe the UFO light has white channel, blue channel, red channel, and green channel versus um, the Radeon's got other stuff like magenta. So they got they have like a more full spectrum going on. But then again, we're comparing like a $800 light to $299 each. So say $600 light. So there is a price difference. So you cannot, it's not exactly a fair comparison at the price point, it's a different price point. So for, their, for UFO's price point at $299 each, right? I think it's, a, it's actually a really good value. Uh, next up, another thing that really stood out to me is I love the shimmer. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that I hate it. I absolutely hated the Radeon's disco ball effect. Uh, it got the uh, red and blue light dancing across the sand and it's super distracting. I tried everything I could to get rid of it, even installed a wide angle lens, I looked into a diffuser. Uh, no luck, no luck. So this, the shimmer from the UFO, is, I'm, I love it. I'm just super welcome. I welcome it a lot and it really adds to the tank I think. So that is my impression in terms of like the light quality in terms of color, right? Perfect like uh, perfect color blending. Uh, in terms of power, really really respectable. In terms of color rendition, it's good but not as great as a Radeon but it's definitely good especially for its price point. Now another thing that I really want to point out that I love about the UFO is actually its mount. The mount is really adjustable and I, I really like the fact that I can separate the two pucks and I just aim it. Just aim it at like shaded area. Before I have the two pucks radion sitting right in the middle of the tank and then um, a lot of cores being shaded by the corals on top of it, or in, uh, yeah, on the top level of it. Uh, where in this light, you see I brought one of the one of the fixture up to the front and then I kind of angle it inside a little bit to get to the corals that got shaded by the Monty as well as the frog spawn and I really love this feature. This actually got me thinking, if I if I go back to Radeon in the future, do, uh, do I still want a two puck or do I want two single puck and just kind of aim them so I can kind of aim them to spots I like. And I know this kind of spotlight effect or mounting or spotlight mounting is popular in Asia, right? And I think it's actually a pretty smart way to do things. But with everything said and done, um, I'm gonna leave the light on my tank a little bit longer just to see how the corals react to the light, especially the different direction the light is coming at. Because in terms of power value, they are they are pretty much equivalent to the Radeon I had before. Um, and the spectrums are good. They're good for going coral, so it should be good. So now it's more like um, the, the amount of light hitting the corals would make a big difference. Um, and again, let's talk. Uh, let's also talk about the feature of the light. So by default, the light just comes as is without um, Wi-Fi hub. The, the light is $299. The Wi-Fi hub, you have to spend another $50 or $60 to buy. And without the Wi-Fi hub, you can use just like a touch sensitive control on the light. It's actually the logo. And as you touch it, you can cycle through different color mode and stuff. But to unlock the full feature, like the timer, uh, like the tweaking the color spectrum, you really need to either use a Wi-Fi hub that they sell or hook it up to an Apex. And the Wi-Fi hub took, took me a little bit to get them linked up because I, there's no instruction. There, well, at least there's no really informative instruction that came with the box. Uh, so I had to go on YouTube, search for one of the video, and once I got the video, it's super easy to set up. Essentially, what you need to do is that as you're pairing, you have to actually unplug the light and then plug it back in. That's how it detects, like, oh, this light is being paired. And once, you, once I paired it, they never lost connection once. They're super reliable, super responsive, no issue at all. It's just that I wish they had better instruction. In fact, I did not even know that their logo is actually touch sensitive to cycle through the lights until I talked to Walter. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just slow, but I do wish the instruction is a little bit better. The app itself uh, is decently intuitive, could be better, could be more polished. For example, to set the timer, they have like four set time slot. You can tweak the time slot, but it seems like you need to use all four. Like you cannot just do like one slot and just modify to cover the entire uh, the entire range of say like 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. You can't do that. Uh, you have to set something to all four slots. So I'm using two slots. For the other two slots, I just 
uh, make it power to zero, which I I don't really agree with the approach, but whatever works, it works, it works. And usually you set it once and you forget about it. So no, uh, no big deal, no big deal. But I do think the app can be a little bit more polished. But besides that, the hardware itself, it's pretty impressive for 299 price point. Again, no complaints, love the lights. If you can spend a little bit more, um, there is light that produces uh, slightly better color rendition. However, you do pay for that premium. And I think for the price point, it is quite a decent light. Now, I'm gonna leave this light over my tank for a little bit more just to see how the coral grows to it. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to answer it. If I cannot answer it, I'm sure somebody else who owns this light will, or maybe the manufacturer will chime in as well because they're pretty responsive. And I do know that they're trying to have more of a social media presence. So I'm, sh I'm sure they'll want to engage with a potential customer as well. All right, guys, hope this video has been helpful. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 9.30 a.m.